On today's episode, we are going to take a closer look at Microsoft, the clouding giant. We can see, unfortunately, for the day, the stock is down roughly 4.6% as I am recording. So in today's episode, I want to do the following. First, take a closer look at what's affecting the stock price right now, especially when most other tech stocks are green at the moment. Second, I actually want to take a closer look at some updates that have happened for Microsoft in the past month or so, so some investors can keep up to date with the stock. So let's get started. I do want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now like i mentioned microsoft down 4.6 percent as i am recording the main reason i want to say is this uh we can see here from cnbc microsoft drops after ubs analyst warns of weakness in the cloud so there was a downgrade to the stock from buy all the way to neutral and some of the main reasons is they believe the clouding market is seeing steep growth the acceleration so there are actually two concerns first is microsoft's cloud computing platform second is the company's family of productivity software that might be also seeing a bit of a slowdown with the current environment we're in right now next i want to take a closer look at some more of here of the clouding business there was a report uh that came out on cnbc on wednesday december 21st that shows how much google estimates microsoft's cloud business is actually losing and this is one thing that i feel many investors don't think about we do see the top three players amazon and microsoft are two that when they talk about their computer cloud computing solutions they're showing a profit outside of google right google seems to be the only one that shows that a loss but based on this leaked document it the main reason is there's certain aspects and the way things are being reported that kind of show the opposite right that kind of make these look a little bit worse than expected for google and a little bit better for some of the companies like microsoft so there was a, le uh, a leak document i don't think this is anything crazy um but it's just great to understand that just because they're all dealing with the clouding market it doesn't mean they're all reporting certain things the same way and remember each company also has different solutions within that platform so i don't want to say this is bearish for microsoft but it's more just hey understanding of how this market really works uh, another thing I want to talk about here in the clouding market, we saw earlier on December 7th of 2022 that the Pentagon split a $9 billion cloud contract among Google, Amazon, Oracle, and Microsoft. So more bullish wins, in my opinion, for Microsoft's clouding business and obviously the overall clouding market. On the recent news, on January 3rd of 2023, Ferrovio is going to build Microsoft's data center in Madrid. Uh, so this is a Spanish infrastructure firm and has been chosen by Microsoft to build one of its data centers. Again, it just kind of shows how much data centers are a huge growth in the market right now as they continue to expand. And I don't think we're going to see this slowing down anytime soon. So I just want to say nothing to really drive the stock price here, but it just kind of shows the overall kind of bullish sentiment of the kind of data center market and that infrastructure market that we're seeing right now. And if you are enjoying the episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash jose. Finally, if you want to learn a little bit more about businesses, I do kind of uh, a, a episode of business breakdown of how they make money. Two episodes are out already on Amazon and NVIDIA. More episodes should be coming out in the future. That's a new channel. The link is down below or you can click the link up above. Now, kind of moving on to the gaming side of Microsoft. We know Microsoft deals in so many different aspects and so different mar different markets. On earlier on December 19th, we did see this article that Microsoft is gauging interest for Xbox Game Pass, adding us at supported tier system. And we're seeing a lot of players do this in kind of the video streaming, Disney Plus, Netflix. Now we're going to see this happening in the cloud gaming aspect. And I think this uh, this could be a good bullish move especially especially since microsoft is really making that heavy push into the advertisement market right they want that partnership with with netflix doing that that add to your system there uh they recently made that acquisition to kind of help out their advertisement solutions they have the advertisement power in their bing search in linkedin as well so uh, this makes sense it's in my opinion a great move especially with the overall macroeconomics we're seeing right now it could bring more users to the platform who maybe they don't want to spend too much money on the monthly pass but would rather pay a few dollars and get hit with a few ads when playing the game so i think this is a, a pretty good move kind of staying here in the gaming department we did see that the ftc seeks to block microsoft's acquisition of activision 
I believe yesterday, November, uh, January 3rd, was the first hearing of this. At the moment, it doesn't seem like anything meaningful happened. This is going to most likely be a long legal process. So I don't know if Microsoft acquisition of Activision is going to go on schedule. I think it might be pushed back a bit more. Activision's acquisition, in my opinion, is not something Microsoft needs. I don't think it needs it, right? But I do believe it would definitely improve their kind of gaming solutions and more kind of incentives for Microsoft's Game Pass in the future. Uh, so obviously, if the acquisition doesn't go through, doesn't go through as an investor of Microsoft, I wouldn't be so worried. Uh, like I said, it's not something it needs. It's just something that can overall help its kind of gaming push and metaverse push. Uh, so nothing for me personally. Maybe some investors might be in Microsoft purely for the gaming side, um, which in my opinion would be weird as their cloudy market and their kind of professional side is a little bit heavier, but every investor has their own reason. And maybe this might be something that might break your thesis. Next, I want to say this is probably my favorite topic that I'm going to discuss today. And for those not familiar, ChatGPT has been super popular. It, it, it's kind of blown out the water since it came out in early December in public kind of public mode um, that even I as a content creator are using this and it's definitely helping out in my content creation process. It has definitely helped out a lot. And there are reports that Microsoft and OpenAI are working on the chat GPT powered Bing in challenge to Google. If this is true, I do believe this can definitely bring some positive news to Bing. I mean, who really uses Bing right now? But I do want to say the amount of strength that comes from chat GPT from where I've used it, I've used it both as a content creator and just more of just a curiosity or, uh, of how technology is evolving. Um, I think this can be very, very interesting if it comes to a search engine. And if it is true, I, I think it can definitely make some headways. At the moment, I don't want to say this is a complete red flag for Google, um, but it's definitely something Google investors might want to keep an eye out. As a Microsoft investor, if this is true, I would be really, really excited uh, because I do believe it, it will bring a lot of strength to Bing. Um, Final, I think the final news I have here is there were reports earlier today that Microsoft plans a $10 million investment in autonomous driving startups. $10 million for this company is probably kind of chump change, but it just kind of shows how this is, uh, big tech companies are now doing what's considered other bets where they invest in smaller systems. And this is nothing new, right? Uh, but it just kind of brings to light that these big techs sometimes just invest in some of these emerging technologies just in case they do really, really well and they have kind of a, a foot ahead of the door already. Uh, so we can see Microsoft is doing that. At the moment, I want to say Microsoft stock price sitting at down 4% today. I think it's ridiculous. 5% as I am recording this episode now is ridiculous, especially if it's mainly due to a downgrade. I think the future headwinds, uh, future tailwinds for Microsoft are still pretty strong. The gaming market is still pretty strong with or without the Microsoft acquisition. The productivity uh, market is still pretty strong. Maybe not this upcoming year with kind of consumer spending uh, decrease and maybe enterprise spending a little bit less. Some of their software solutions might take a small hit or some form of hit this year. Their clouding business is very similar. I think maybe in the short term, things might look a little bit scarier. If true, in the long term, I do believe all these markets are going to continue to grow. Uh, so in my opinion, Microsoft is definitely a stock that I own, one that I don't, I wouldn't hesitate buying on um, and increasing my position size on it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you buying Microsoft with this overall daily movement that's happening right now? Or is there too much risk that you believe uh, can come with this company? Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.